Hi everybody, Matthias here and welcome to 5 Essential Bitwig Tips that'll truly blow your mind. Truly, truly, truly. Tip number one, fattening drums. So maybe we have a track but we feel that the kick and the snare is a little bit weak. Maybe it's sounding something like this. <laughs> And we want to fatten the kick and the snare. What we can do, go to the drum track, this is a drum machine. And we can insert a filter plus device and make use of the wave shaper to add sweet overdrive. So let's add a device, let's insert a filter plus. And we want to deactivate the filter because we're only gonna make use of the wave shaper. And we can select maybe the push overdrive. And as always, just a little bit goes a long way. And if we deactivate this and take a look at uh, the volume readout here for the peaks. Generally it peaks around the minus 3.8 here without the saturator and with the filter plus. We actually get the lower peak read at the minus 4.3 dB, but uh, we have a lot more loudness. As you can see, Bitwig comes with a whole bunch of wave shapers, but uh, I feel that the heat, push, and uh, distortion and shabby shabby sounds uh, really great. So make sure you check out the different distortion types and uh, have a look at what works for your audio. Tip number two is to pin the reverse button, because uh, generally when working with the EDM or many types of different music, you want to be able to reverse symbols and stuff. So if we take this symbol for example, if you go into clip, you can uh, look at reverse and uh, press this little pin icon. And that way you get the reverse button directly here in the interface. So you have instant access to make these uh, sweeps. Next up, tip number three, note chase. Generally when working with ambient music and uh, when you have long sustaining notes, you want to activate the note chase to be able to uh, start uh, the playhead wherever in your arrangement. So if you set the playhead in the middle of uh, sustained notes and you try to play back, you want to get any MIDI on values. And no audio. So what you do, go to the Bitwig settings dashboard and go to behavior and look here at resume playback and activate note chase. And that way we will get the note on value, although we play in the middle of mid notes. Like so. Tip number four is to make use of the great note operators we have in Bitwig Studio. So if we go into an arpeggio track like this and press command A to select all the MIDI notes. And if we look in the inspector panel down at the operators, we can set the chance for these notes to play. And you can see the lower we set the chance we get is like one to six dice dots. <laughs> But a really cool trick is to um, change uh, the repeat counts here for the notes. And you can see we get uh, these notes divisions subdivided if we increase uh, this division. And maybe we want to record that so we can just add a new audio track, command shift T. And uh, in this new audio track we will set the arpeggiator, which is in group 6, arpeggiator and yeah, pre-volume. And then we can actually record the output from the arpeggiator here. Or the, the middle notes and, and the chance or the operators that we, the changes that we do to the operators. So let's just uh, record a little, little pause here and make some changes here to the repeats. <laughs> So 
let's take a listen to that. <laughs> It can be really fun and try different types of effects and do all sorts of automation and record that as audio and use that within your track. Right, so over to our final tip number five, which is uh, more of an arrangement tip. So say that we have a long track like this and uh, we suddenly decide we want to insert maybe a breakdown section or something earlier on here in the track. And most of the times we probably select uh, all the clips like this and move these around, but what you can do instead is use the insert silence command. So we can hover above the lower section of one of the tracks and make a drag selection like this maybe over 8 bars or 16 bars, and press uh, Shift, Command, and P. And bam, we've inserted a silent section here between the verse and the intro. And this is a real quick time saver if you're working on larger arrangements. Okay, so let me know in the comments what you feel about these tricks, and if you want me to do more of these uh, quick tips videos for Between Studio. If you're all new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the like and that notification bell so that you get the notice as soon as I drop new videos. Finally, make sure you check out my new Bitwig course, Bitwig Ambient Mastery, over at edu.monitumedia.com. Right, my name is Matthias, see you in the next video. Bye!